would you like to have the most efficient heating and cooling system inside your home? Well, that's where we are today. They're installing a geothermal heat pump into an existing home. Now, I know in the past, we've always thought that geothermal is only associated with new construction, but these days, that's not so. To tell us more about that is John Schmidt with e j Geothermal. And John, for starters, I think a lot of our viewers have heard of geothermal, but they may not understand exactly how it works. Can you give us a, a brief overview? Sure, Megan. Basically, um, a geothermal system uses the earth to extract heat or cool. We don't actually generate heat or generate cool, we just move it from one place to another. Because it's already existing. It's already in the earth. The earth is relatively stable at 55 degrees where we live here. And uh, so the house really doesn't know when it's zero degrees or when it's 80 degrees because it's working with that constant ground temperature. So are there different types of geothermal underneath that big umbrella? You basically have two types. You have a forced air system, which we have here today, and then you have a hydronic system, which circulates warm water through the floors, ceilings, or walls. And then you'll have a air handler that'll use that chilled water to cool the home in the summer. Okay, tell us what we're looking at today. What you're looking at today is we're boring in a horizontal system. And uh, this hole that we have here is all we need. We'll bore through this hole and uh, basically on this smaller lot, we'll have pipe buried everywhere underneath the home. I was gonna say, this isn't a lot of space in this established neighborhood. No, this would actually be a smaller lot. Not the smallest, but smaller. Now, sometimes you could put the pipes vertically, right? Why didn't yes. you choose that option? For this in this home? particular job, we would need at least four vertical wells to achieve the amount of pipe we need to make the system work. In the case here, we, they need to be 10 or 15 feet apart, and we didn't have that space. So that's why we chose this solution. Okay, then how far down are you digging? Typically 15 foot is where most of the pipe is at. And that's the 55 degree temperature that you were talking yep. about? Yeah, it's stable year round. And the fluid that you put through these pipes? It's a mixture of antifreeze and water. Now tell us what we're gonna see inside the home. What you'll see in the home is uh, there will be a spot in the basement where we'll cut a hole in the floor and we'll bring the pipe up right next to the unit. Um, you'll see the old gas furnace that's still intact and the new ground source heat pump that's in the basement. We're also going to remove the, the old gas water heater and install a new water heater. How do you get the temperature um, to where you want it, whether that's hotter or colder? Is there a, what's the component that you use to do that? What we do is we circulate that the water from the ground loop, which is constant, through a heat exchanger in the ground source heat pump in the basement. There's a refrigerant system in there, just like your refrigerator in your home, which will boost that temperature up or down, however it's needed. How much energy savings can these homeowners expect to see? For uh, jobs uh, nationwide, the EPA has uh, uh, done studies and it's between 30 to 70 percent. If some of our viewers are interested in installing geothermal, what steps should they take? One thing they need to make sure is that their ductwork system will accommodate the geothermal system because it uh, operates on lower temperatures which makes it more efficient, which means it has to uh, force more air throughout the home. It also makes the home more even by distributing uh, air uh, for longer periods at a more constant temperature. When we first started talking about geothermal heating, it was really expensive. Um, and now the cost has come down significantly, right? For, for this homeowner, their uh, out-of-pocket expense was about $4,000 more than what it would have been if they put in a new gas furnace. Were they planning on putting in a new furnace? Yes, they were. And that $4,000 figure has uh, been re reduced to that level because the federal government gives a 30% tax credit now and the utility company gives an excellent rebate. There are some great options out there for people. Let's talk about the kind of savings that they're going to see once this project is in place. On this particular project, they will save about $50 a month on their utility bills, and uh, which would yield about a 15% uh, yield on their investment. So also, if they borrowed the money for the project, the savings on their utility bills will pay for the loan and yield them a monthly income at the same time. Not to mention, if they decide to move, the resale value, I'm sure, would be much greater. It, it does increase the resale value of your home, especially when they can show 
the prospective buyer their utility bills in comparison to neighbors that have other systems. Well, thanks for joining us, John. This is some great information. A geothermal heat pump. It's a great and energy efficient way to heat and cool your home. Oh,